Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. The 2020 general election is now less than a week away. And one of the top races on Kentucky ballots this year is the race between Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Democratic challenger Amy McGrath. We asked history professor Tom Ajasek to break down how the race is looking. Amy McGrath ran an absolutely abysmal primary campaign, nearly lost to, of course, Charles Booker, who had very little money. She did a real correction in the the general election. And her campaign has been superb, but I don't think it's enough to topple Mitch McConnell. Uh, There is something he has repeated over and over and over again, and he said, my ability to be in a leadership role in the Senate allows Kentucky to punch above its weight. And implied in there is that, you know, not only is he going to represent Kentucky values, which is questionable, but what isn't questionable is, you know, if you've been in office 36 years in the Senate, that you're going to be able to get more pork for Kentucky. And, you know, quite frankly, he is going to be able to get more pork for Kentucky than a freshman senator. So I think that's, is, that's what's going to allow him to win the race. Uh, he's been consistently ahead in the polls. Uh, I don't really see a path to victory. Uh, for Amy McGrath, but she's won a heck, she's run a heck of a campaign. But the Kentucky race is just one of many on Tuesday that will decide whether Republicans can hold on to power in the Senate or if Democrats can take control. It is in play in, in several ways. There are a couple of Republican seats, frankly, they're going to lose. Uh, Susan Collins is going to lose her seat in Maine. Uh, McSally, Senator McSally over in Arizona, she's going to lose that race to Kelly. But the Democrats are going to lose a seat. I don't see any way Doug Jones can hang on to that Senate seat in Alabama. So uh, they're going to have to try to flip, Democrats are going to have to try to flip about four seats. Um, Joni Ernst is, a, is, is very iffy. She's got a tough race there in Iowa that people aren't paying a lot of attention to, but they should. Uh, there's a very close Senate race in South Carolina. How Lindsey Graham got in that situation, I'm not sure, but he must have uh, uh, must have done a few things that caused some resentment. Uh, Trump should take South Carolina easily. Lindsey Graham has allied himself to President Trump, and yet Lindsey Graham finds himself in kind of a, a, a tough race there in South Carolina. He may actually lose it. Stay with Mountaintop News for coverage of the election before and after the vote. Tuesday night, you can get real-time election updates by visiting the Mountaintop News Facebook page, as well as by tuning in to Mountaintop TV, WDHR, and WXCC for breaking news alerts. And get a complete wrap-up of election results by visiting our website, mountain-topmedia.com.